Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. So let's pull your overarching energy or message for the week, Scorpio. Okay, what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Scorpios for the week. What is the overarching energy or message? We've got two cards there. Five of Cups with the High Priestess. Okay. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. <laughs> Miracles. Wow, Scorpio. I mean, miracles are very much associated with positive transformation changes coming. Uh, and it's changes for the better, with an element of divine orchestration within them. So it feels for some of you, expect miracles. And it's to do with something that is getting you down. Five of Cups is Scorpio energy. Okay. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely Scorpios for the week. What do we have for Scorpios? You're ready. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? You are ready. If you don't think you're ready for something, the message is you are. And that's what the universe is telling you. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards, Scorpio. The first card is you, your current situation, your current challenge or issue. The second card is advice from spirit. The third card is the future outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deep into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. I've got the high priestess again. In your challenge position. The sun is advice from spirit remember the sun is divine energy as is the high priestess and we have the devil okay let's clarify these cards on the table please for scorpio Message for Scorpio, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Scorpio. Yeah, Queen of Wands. The Sun. Yeah, we have the Five of Pentacles. I like these energies together. Um, the devil is clarified with the, the knight of pentacles. Um, and we have the five of cups. Okay. Okay, let's clarify what this devil is, please. The devil is a card of Capricorn. Queen of Wands is generally Aries. All the energy of those signs. Okay. Let's clarify this devil, please. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we have the Empress and I've got the Seven of Pentacles reversed. It just fell out reverse, so let's go with that. Okay. Just give me a moment, Scorpio. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups and the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is a card of always listening to your intuition uh, because you're being guarded. Gu guarded? Guided. <laughs> you're being guided. Guarded even. Protected. Interesting that I'm getting that energy. Um, the High Priestess is the conduit of spirit you know she is somebody 
who is sacred knowledge, very much connected to our intuition, our instinct, our gut instinct, what our instinct is telling us to do now. And because she's in the challenge position, it feels some of you aren't listening to your intuition. Because this can be your instincts are telling you about a situation. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. That's what I'm definitely feeling that you're saying to yourself. I knew this was going to happen and this is where I am. Feeling the lack, feeling a failure, feeling down. Uh, regretting that I didn't act sooner to deal with this situation. It feels to do with money, career, finances. And, you know, you might, be, you might feel like you're kicking yourself here, Scorpio, but generally we're let down because we trust the situation, we trust people, we trust situations, we trust things are going to be okay. You know, so we do feel let down and we do feel like our own you know, are blaming ourselves because it's almost kind of like you knew something was going to happen. It might well be you saw the signs and you just didn't listen to what your instinct was telling you. And it might have led to some kind of loss. Now that might be to do with loss in terms of jobs, career, finances. Yeah. But the message is, don't worry, because you're being protected, guarded, like I said before, by spirit. The sun is divine energy, as is the high priestess. And you're being watched over. There is an element of the divine in miracles. And it is an energy of blessings are coming your way. You are ready. But the message with the five of cups is don't focus on what's gone anymore. There is still hope around you, potential behind you. There are cups that are full of opportunity, full of uplifting energy for you to tap into now. So the message is move on from what's gone on in the past because you're ready to bring transformation to your life. I love that energy. The High Priestess, the Queen of Wands. Again, this is an energy of being in your power, taking control of a situation not listening to your instincts. It could be with regard to a leader, actually. Um, the Queen of Wands can be somebody, male or female energy, but it could have been to do with a leader. So maybe you weren't listening to your instincts with regard to this boss or with regard to some kind of leader or head, and you might have been let down by them. As an energy, the Queen of Wands is somebody who is in her power. She takes calculated action. She is a warrior queen. She doesn't rest. She doesn't stop until she brings achievement and success into her life. But she acts when the timing is right, when her intuition is telling her to act. So for some of you, there is a message of now is the time to take action. You're ready. Now is the time to take control of a situation. Take the lead. Trust your instincts. Don't ignore your instincts. But there's definitely an energy that you might have dealt with somebody. You might have suspected something, suspicions being realized about somebody. And yet there's an element here, Scorpio, of, oh, why didn't I just do something about this sooner? Yeah. But I think it was for all the right intentions that you didn't. So the, the five of pentacles, it feels like some kind of job loss or career loss, business loss, financial loss. But the beautiful thing is the recovery is coming. Things are about to get better. And there could be an energy of by your own actions, by being in your power, by not letting the negative control you, but you taking control of that which is negative. Because the sun is a card of coming through the other side of a situation and stepping into your power, stepping into your light once more. There's new growth, new vitality, feeling good, good news, celebration, joy, happiness coming your way. So there's definitely some kind of good news, celebration, joy, reasons to be happy, abundance with the sunflowers, cards of success. 
So I definitely see, you know, the Queen of Wands holds a sunflower, you know, again, there may well be an element here of by you taking action, taking control, you are bringing the success into your life again. Don't let the lack own you. And again, you might be begrudging somebody. And again, I'm feeling it might well be some kind of lead leader. I I should have listened to my instincts with regard to this person and look where I am now. They're fine and I'm not. This can be where you're focusing on, you know, other people, begrudging other people and not focusing on your own journey. It's, it's, it's misdirection. Uh, and it's what we do when we feel the lack. And the message is refocus on you now, on your path, on what is going to bring happiness and joy and success. This is a card of success to you now. That's what you're being told to regroup and refocus. Because for some of you, there is hope still, you know, even though the messages don't focus on what's negative. If you do, you miss the potential that's all around you. If you focus on the negative, that's how you say stay stuck in this toxic bad cycle of feeling that something is beyond your control. When the Empress is telling you, this is a time to plant new seeds, there is new abundance available to you. She is the birth of something new, can be in terms of money, career, finances. Also links with love as well. She's Venus energy, Venus in Taurus. But there is the new promise, the promise of, of anchoring a new reality for yourself, of creating a new reality for yourself by your actions. There is hope in this situation. There is potential around you in this situation. So don't let this idea of feeling powerless or feeling something is beyond your control. That is just where the situation puts chains around your necks and keeps you exactly where you are in this energy of feeling unstable and negative. When the Empress is saying there's real positivity around you. So yeah, for some of you, the, the kind of messages here with the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles is keep on going when it's upright. When it's reversed, it can be an energy of, oh, is it worth my time and energy? I don't, I don't see this coming. You know, it's, it's a lack of, of long-term vision. You know, it, it feels like some kind of self-sabotage energy here, um, Scorpio, in the sense that the opportunity, you might be tested. It might well be there are some kind of delays in making something happen. You might have been caught in this situation for a period of time here. But there's a message of miracles are coming your way. Um, and the, the Empress is the birth of something new is available to you. And that birth of something new is in the form of an offer, an opportunity, because the Knight of Pentacles is an offer or an opportunity coming your way. That is the hope. That is the potential around you. There is some positive change available to you in terms of your money, career, finances. That could be in the form of new job offers, new business offers, new business wins, uh, new sales. It could be in the form of clients, contracts, call it what you will. But there's definitely an energy of plant new seeds. Don't let this devil keep you within the boundaries because that's where there isn't the growth. This is definitely an energy of there is new seeds to plant available to you. And this is resulting in some kind of offer or an opportunity here. So I definitely feel in this energy, Scorpio, it is overcome the demons, take control, take your power back from something that seems to be controlling you. It's not always easy, but it definitely feels like some offer or an opportunity is coming your way. And that is the miracle because the Knight of Pentacles 
can be a card of where you're waiting for the opportunity to come and then finally it comes after a period of waiting, after a period of stagnation. But when it comes, it's solid, stable, secure. It's something that you can build on. So it definitely feels for some of you, it's coming. Don't lose hope. Don't lose the will to keep on going because the Empress is saying the promise is now. You're ready. There's promise around you now. There's still hope, Five of Pentacles. So I'm going to pull you one more card. Any other message for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Are there any other message for Scorpio? Thank you. Any other message for Scorpio, please, or advice? Yeah. There's an energy of you'll reap what you sow. You'll reap what you sow. Um, <laughs> and that is kind of like, if you keep on going, don't lose hope, don't lose faith, because there's definitely an energy of justice, getting justice, karmic justice. It feels truth is on your side. And the shift is coming, the Eight of Wands, the shift is coming, news, conversations, information, opportunity. But it's if you take action. This can be online and distance as well, travel. Um, so maybe online or distance communication. But it definitely feels for some of you, it's coming your way, the shift is coming. So keep going, yeah. So final message for Scorpio, please, Angel Spirits Guides, final message for Scorpio. Yeah, we have solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait quite... That, that wait silently during your quiet times. I mean, there might be some inspiration that you get, you know, throughout this period of maybe being on your own or looking for a job or looking for how you want to move forward in a situation. It feels for some of you there could be some enlightenment here. But I definitely feel in this situation the change is coming and it's resulting in some kind of offer or an opportunity. Conversations, communication, bringing the shift. There's definitely an energy of you will reap what you sow. Um, and it feels in a really positive sense, you will get justice. If there has been some injustice with the situation, something wasn't fair, I'm definitely feeling somebody. You're, you're like, I knew this was going to happen. I knew they were going to do this. The message is don't focus on that anymore. The focus is refocus on the promise that's around you right now, because she is a great card of incoming abundance. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the reading, Scorpio. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.